Could gaining control of the Central Bank of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the CBI, be one of the main reasons that Iran is being targeted by Western and Israeli powers? As tensions are building up for an unthinkable war with Iran, it is worth exploring Iran's banking system compared to its United States, British and Israeli counterparts. Some researchers are pointing out that Iran is one of the only three countries left in the world whose central bank is not under Rothschild control. Before 911, there were reportedly seven. Afghanistan, Iraq, Sudan, Libya, Cuba, North Korea and Iran. By 2003, however, Afghanistan and Iraq were swallowed up by the Rothschild octopus and by 2011, Sudan and Libya were also gone. In Libya, a Rothschild bank was established in Benghazi while the country was still at war. Islam forbids the charging of interest, a major problem for the Rothschild banking system. Until a few hundred years ago, charging interest was also forbidden in the Christian world and was even punishable by death. It was considered exploitation and enslavement. Since the Rothschilds took over the Bank of England around 1815, they have been expanding their banking control over all the countries of the world. Their method has been to get a country's corrupt politicians to accept massive loans which they can never repay and thus go into debt to the Rothschild's banking powers. If a leader refuses to accept the loan, he is oftentimes either ousted or assassinated, and if that fails, invasions can follow, and a Rothschild usury-based bank is established. The Rothschilds exert powerful pressure over the world's major news agencies. By repetition, the masses are duped into believing horror stories about evil villains. The Rothschilds control the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the IMF, the World Bank and the Bank of International Settlements. Also, they own most of the gold in the world as well as the London Gold Exchange, which sets the price of gold every day. It is said the family owns over half the wealth of the planet, estimated by Credit Suisse to be $231 trillion, and is controlled by Evelyn Rothschild, the current head of the family. Objective researchers contend that Iran is not being demonized because they are a nuclear threat, just as the Taliban, Iraq's Saddam Hussein, and Libya's Muammar Gaddafi were not a threat. What then is the real reason? Is it the trillions to be made in oil profits? Or the trillions in war profits? Is it to bankrupt the US economy? Or is it to start World War III? Is it to destroy Israel's enemies? Or to destroy the Iranian Central Bank so that no one is left to defy Rothschild's money racket. It might be any one of these reasons, or worse. It might be all of them.